Hey guys. Hey, listen, I mentioned in my last video that uh, my, my buddy Johnny out there in Connecticut, I guess it was fate, mental attack thing, was going to be having a 500 sub uh, appreciation giveaway. Well, he did post it. It is up now. So, um, this is just a reminder if you guys haven't checked him out, go check him out. He's got really good, uh, really good content. He finds lots of silver out of his happy hunting grounds. Uh, giving away some awesome prizes in a contest right now, as you can see right there on the screen. Um, I believe he's at 535 subscribers right now, so he's he's gotten a few, and that's great. I'd like to help him out a little bit as well. Um, but go check out his channel. Uh, subscribe it and, and uh, make a comment there, and you can get interested into his contest. Uh, you'll like what you see. It's, gonna, it's a great channel. So, uh, Good morning, check guys. It out. Uh, it's uh, Sunday, July 10th. I decided to get out for a while solo, um, hunting a house next door to a house I hit a couple weeks ago with uh, my buddy Tim. He did pretty good over there. He got himself a barber hat and a, um, a large scent. And uh, that's a very old house. The house I'm doing next door is from 1920. But I do believe, I do believe I've got a large scent. I haven't been able to clean it real good yet, but I think... I think I have a large scent here. Um, you got some writing right there. Maybe not. Let me clean this up a little bit. I got right back with you. I'm not sure what we got here. Whatever it is, it's cool. I'll get right back with you. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I'm going to have to wait, I guess, and clean this thing up a little bit. Uh, I can't get the good picture of the front, but I did get the back a little bit cleaner, and look what I'm seeing. I'm seeing one cent. This may be uh, it possibly a foreign coin, it, unless you can see something that I don't, but it does not look like it's a U.S. coin, but either way, awesome find. I'll clean up and show you a better picture in a little bit. All right, see if I get anything else. All right, guys. Had a weird, iffy signal here, uh, low tone. I only dug this because Rick's been saying he's been getting some, uh, last couple days he's done this house, he's been getting some um, ring, so I thought maybe I'd go for a gold ring. But what I got here is a little uh, little lead soldier. Blowing a bugle. It's weird. Look at what, what's on his head. I don't know what's on his head. Maybe he had some, uh, I don't know. But uh, pretty cool. That was down there ways. I mean, that was way, you know, way down there. It's probably uh, seven, eight inches, but it's an old lead toy of some sort. All right, pretty cool. Let's see if we can find some more of these things. All right, just hit a silver signal. Got down there. Got myself, it's kind of broken. I got to do a work to it. But I got myself a little sterling silver ring. Just came apart. Anyway, there it is, sterling. Sterling silver. With some kind of a, possibly a sapphire. We'll check it out later. All right, guys, see you the next. All right, guys, this time I went chasing another one of those empty signals. Just did it because it was deep. Uh, got myself a little spill. Got a Junker pocket watch. This one's down about eight, nine inches. Um, junker pocket watch, and then I uh, had a couple more signals. Those went down and got them, and got two wheat cents as well. So pocket watch, two wheaties. All right, still haven't found any silver in his yard. Well, all is in the ring. All right, see you at the next. Good morning, guys. Uh, it's Sunday morning. I'm out with uh, with Rick. And I uh, haven't been getting a whole lot here. And uh, Ricky got a war nickel a couple minutes ago, and he said he got it real shallow. And I've been passing up a lot of like 1235s and stuff in that range at, you know, four inches, three inches. Uh, figuring it's going to be more of the memorials and Zinklins. But I just had one here, and... Uh, Along the sidewalk right here, and it was it was only about maybe four inches. So we got an Indian. So I don't know if you can see the date. I can't. Maybe 1889. All right, let's go find some more. I'll see you guys at the next. It's got me another little relic here. It's toasted, but it's a uh, as you can see, it's an old Cub Scout knife or Boy Scout knife. Wasn't very deep, maybe four inches. But cool, hey, it's a nice find. 
Hey guys, just had a, a 1235 signal. Uh, just started this house here. Uh, the gentleman said it's been hit before, but the guy went over it real quick, so I figured he was just cherry picking for silver. So I've been going real slow, looking for maybe some Indians or some, you know, penny and nickel signals. I had a 1235 and I popped it up and I haven't even looked at it and touched it. But look at that, we got a mercury down there. Mercury dime. Wow. That was a surprise, kind of cool. Uh, I'll clean it up and show you a better picture in a second, but awesome. Let's see if we can get some more. See you at the next. Yeah, well, like I said before, Daisy the Relics. Got another uh, another pocket knife. Kind of cool. Um, I'll clean this up and give you a better picture of it. I'm sure it's not old. We are at an 1870s house, but uh, it's uh, nowhere near that old. But it's pretty cool. I'll clean it up and get you a better picture. All right, see you at the next. Hey, guys. Just for a second, I thought I had another one. Got one of those, uh, one of those shell tokens. <laughs> Alright, see you at the next.